Okay, now let's learn about the basic cosine curve. And so first off, let's plot some points. And cosine at zero, cosine is one, which would be one equivalent to decimal. But at pi over six, cosine is square root of three over two, which is about 0.866. At pi over four, it's square root of two over two, which is 0.7. At pi over three, it is one half, which would be 0.5. And at pi over 2, cosine is 0, which will be 0 as decimal. But in 3 pi over 4, cosine is negative square root of 2 over 2, which would be negative 0 0.707. And then at pi, cosine is negative 1, or negative 1 is decimal. At 3 pi over 2, cosine is 0. And at 2 pi, it's back to 1. It's going to start repeating then again at 2 pi. So let's look at it. Here's a nice little picture, and let's plot some points. There's our first point, and you can see the graph coming down right there. And then what's going to happen? It's going to go into the negative value, and it's going to hit negative 1, but then it's going to turn around and go back to 0 and like that. So there is the basic cosine graph for a period of 2 pi. Notice it starts at 0, 1. It starts up at 1. And if I were to continue the graph on there, the cosine would look like that. And if I continued on that side, it would be there. Now, what is the period of cosine? It's the time it takes it to repeat. Notice it starts at 1, and it takes it 2 pi to get back to 1. So the period is 2 pi. You can barely maybe see it. Right there, you can see a little bit, but it's 2 pi from there to there. And what's its range? It's also from negative 1 to 1 because the hypotenuse is always bigger than the adjacent. It might equal the adjacent when you're at the 0 degree marks, um, but it is, it's never, it's going to be between negative 1 and 1. So 